I'm Melissa Mantini with Canadian HR Reporter TV. I recently sat down with Rachel DeGrace from the Canadian Payroll Association to talk about workers' compensation and pensions in relation to province of employment. When it comes to workers' compensation, in general, the employee is considered to be covered in the jurisdiction, so the province or territory, where they're physically doing the work. Now, because the provinces have reciprocity uh, agreements, if, let's say, I go to a different province, but it's still within my role as, let's say, a payroll consultant. So, for example, a few months ago, I went to a conference, our conference, which was held in Alberta. If I would have had a work-related accident or illness while I was there, it would be WSIB for Ontario that would follow me to Alberta because the reason why I'm there is considered an extension of what I do here in Ontario. What if an employee is in a different province other than their regular province of employment for a long period of time? It really depends on the nature of the job and if your movement to another province or territory is considered a unique role for you or a unique division of the job that you were hired to do. So for example, you know, if, if you are setting up a new store or a new restaurant in a different province, you, it's more difficult to say, well, that's considered an extension of what I do back home because the establishment of the new uh, facility is, is the job and it's taking place in a very specific province. So more than likely, workers' compensation will deem that you are covered under the province where you are physically working, even though you're only there part of the time or for a short period of time. With workers' compensation, the best thing to do is to always communicate with the two different boards or more and make sure that everyone is in agreement. Is your coverage going to follow you there or follow the employee there? Or are you going to have to register with a different province or territory's board? How does province of employment affect pensions? Pensions also have minimum standards, not unlike employment standards. And uh, unlike employment standards, however, uh, the province of employment for pension considerations is always equal to the province of employment for taxation purposes, uh, for taxation at source. So you could have an employee who is working from their own home in Ontario who is being paid from Alberta and they're a member of the pension plan. So while they're physically working in their own home in Ontario, it's Ontario's employment standards that the employer will have to follow for overtime, statutory holidays, vacation, that type of thing. The province of employment would be the province that they're paid from, which will be Alberta, which would also be the province where the pension's minimum standards will have to be adhered to.